Yo, V. There's this badge. He needs help with his investigation. Guy's known for operating in the gray zone. No scruples about working with mercs. Attach more deeds for you. Client is Aaron McCarlson, NCPD surgeon. He used to work for me as a consultant on the show Cops and Chops, eight seasons, and is asking for a favor. Aaron's been digging into Maelstrom for a while now, says he found the warehouse where they torture people. But you know how it is for badges, wall slows them down with mountains of paperwork, so if they want to get something done, they have to get creative. Aaron knows that, which is why, instead of waiting for fat-ass judges to grant him permission, he wants to get help from a contractor. Job simple, get into warehouse, coordinates attached, steal, st steal the security cam footage, and bring it back to Aaron. Should be enough to push his case through. And if you happen to shoot a few maelstromers along the way, well, shit happens, right? World won't be worse off without them, that's for sure. Now, the thing is, this is the second time I am repeating some of these quests because of the fact that towards the ending of this video, um, Cyberpunk decided to just crash completely. So not only did I somehow lose footage, but I'm having to redo this recording again for the second time. So, if you notice that I am bum-rushing through some of these missions, it's because I already know what to do. Which sucks, because I hate my time being wasted, but you know what? At least I'll get through some of these missions a lot more quicker than usual, so... Bye, sayonara. No one will miss you. Eh, come here. Come here, you too. Come here. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. I am not trying to get shot. Come on. Thank you. That bitch almost took me down. Okay, so quick conversation between Gawker and Miller. Gawker. The fuck did you do, you quack? What? The pain editor you chipped doesn't fucking work. It hurts so bad it makes me want to rip my optics out. When I find you, I'll cut your throat with a fucking scalpel. Try booting up the implant first. Use the run editor command. Okay, yeah, that worked, sorry. You're welcome. Oh, and your next procedure comes with a negative 100% discount. Damn, he lost money. So, I do appreciate you watching this week's Cyberpunk 2077. I appreciate the love and support here. And I'll definitely... will have a lot of fun with entertaining you because I definitely like to at least make you laugh enough so you can at least forget about the world for like a good 30 minutes or so. And look at him! I just chopped him up like he's chopped liver! Ew, he's leaking! That's so different. Alright, so the computer's right here. Let me steal the data. Yeah, boy, this is nice. I just love this. Just love being able to just use myself as a portable USB drive and just steal the living piss out of people's information. But yeah, Cyberpunk, you are putting in so much updates, right? And yet, I just crashed. What the fuck is that about? Okay, so now I physically crashed, that's cool. But dude, how are you gonna put in lots and lots of updates and brag about how you're fixing bugs? And yet, I not only did have my game just crash completely, where I had to restart, but it's like... 
you say you're fixing it and yet it's not being fixed why what's going on do you suddenly not have any money anymore to properly fix a i don't know two-year-old game at this point aaron it's v i've got the scrolls oh v <laughs> thought you were another one of those serenity bible whack jobs come in so hit any snags along the way there always are. Handle them. Like a boss. You're real tough as nails, huh? That's how you survive out there. All right, now hand over those scrolls already. Choppity chop chop. These chop, scrolls huh? are for some kind of investigation, right? Mm-hmm. Real big stink, mind you. But thanks to your help, I can give it a push. I just love your flannel. Like, I wish I had that. Here, take them. Great work. I'll spread the word. You do solid merc work. Coming from Aaron McCarlson, that'll go far. Thank you. I'm sure it will. I love Take networking. Care. That's for sure. More jobs equals more money for me. But seriously, though, I love his flannel. Like, where did he get it? Because I so totally would buy one. All right, so this one is long done and gone. Aaron's happy. I'm happy. Always pays to be on good terms with badges, right? Gates yeah. Gates closed. Eddie's on their way. All right. Nice. Now on to job number two. Oh, someone left and crashed because, you know, driving skills are not necessary in this job. V heard Northside seeing some action. Got Maelstromers hauling ass out of there. Go see what's going on exactly. Which, according to my previously deleted video of the same content, it's because there's some guy here who, unfortunately, is just geeking oh, out no. with implants. And I know exactly where he is, too. He's right over here in the corner. And he's, boom, right there. Yep. Just finish shooting people out. And you're going down. I'm calling Timber. Oh, come on. Are you serious? You think you're going to run away like that? Not on my watch. Come on. Thank you. That was pretty quick. Tamara, I've been trying to reach you ever since they took me. I know you're looking and I know you'll find me eventually. But I don't know how to make it any easier. Don't think I can get on the net. I should have listened when you taught me how, but now I fucked myself. Honestly, I don't even think you'll recognize me if you saw me. I know I don't. Should just stick a barrow down my throat and be done with it. I'm such a fucking monster. Oh man, come on. Don't say that. Fuck me. Gang ain't t taking me back. Now I felt a bag over my head. I got these, like, tractor hands and ugly as sin red eyes. All I can think of now is your chooms who poison you to me, telling you not to get with Valentino, that he'll leave you for someone else, vanish without a word. I'm gone and they'll beat their chests all justified and tell you, told you so. But couldn't be more wrong. It's driving me local. I feel like my head's gonna explode in a million pieces. I can feel the pressure building and building and building, but I don't know when it's going to pop. Well, unfortunately for you, buddy, now we both know when that head popped. And we couldn't do anything about it, especially since you totally geeked out on your implants that were probably, yeah, it's been forced on you. That's the sad part. Let me go ahead and text Regina the news, so I can tell her exactly what happened. Our kid was a Valentino, not a Maelstromer. Borg fiends must have had an axe to grind with him, because they stuffed him with implants like a fucking Christmas turkey, and just watched and waited for him to blow. Same would have happened to anyone chipped that fast. Buddy didn't have time to adjust to the wear and turned him psycho. Couldn't bring him in quietly. Had to put him out of his misery. 
looks like our guy didn't even have to piss them off. While ago, Maelstrom put out word it was looking for volunteers to test some new wear. Obviously, nobody stepped up, so the Borg fucks just started scooping peeps up off the street. Valentino's been looking for this kid for a while, not to mention the runner who swarmed the net with data feelers trying to track him down. Eventually, must have broken free and fought for his life, may the Maelstromers reaped what they sowed. Whole thing backfired on them spectacularly. Kid was still just a kid. Maybe with time he could have adapted to his new condition, learned to deal with it. Sucks you had to zero him. It's a sad day for Night City. I agree, it is a sad day because, you know, he's a Valentino. And remember, Jackie and his mom are also Valentinos. So I had to zero in on one of my boys boys basically uh, I miss you Jackie I wish you were still alive bro what the hell is this what did I get myself into this dog it is not mine none of this me cold dead metal all of it are you what uh, what have I done are you okay don't you Take a vow against chip and implants? Of course we do. You think I did this to myself? Oh, I no. Apologize, I cannot bow in greeting. I am still adjusting to my situation. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Oh, no. Desecrated my body. Oh, Lord. That's fucked up. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Makes no sense. Who'd go and do something like this and why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Oh no. Then they were trying to decide how. How to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. <laughs> I beg you, please help my brother. That's I a only very... hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like like I have. Fine. I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Yes, that's Maelstrom true. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. Not guaranteed to be friendly. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. Um. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. Shut up, what are you Johnny. Gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead. Wish she Shut drop dead. Uh, ooh, damn. I actually said that to him. Carrie, hey. You got plans this evening? Cancel. Go to Dark Matter on Woodland. You might not know the place. Don't really advertise. Oh, it's the occasion. Us cracks. We never celebrated our little victory. Go round back and tell the bounce you with me. I'll let you in, no problem. Don't be late. Hey, I won't. And wow, so it's not even that far either. I really doubt I can actually do this peacefully, but you know what? I'm gonna try. Shit. Not. Anyways, the fuck I look like. I got you. I got you. I got you. Where you at? Anyways, you really think? You really think that you can get away with this? Oh, and I did it right in front of the monk too. 
Um, who's shooting me? Ooh, hold on. Let me kill this guy first. Come on, come on. Next. One, two, three. Get out. Ooh, damn. D am I taking some sort of a super duper beefed up med? It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? Yeah. I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One, one of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, they did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Not with the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. Oh, come One on. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have sown. Oof. You have committed evil in its purest form. Oof. I liked your brother more. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. Yeah. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be, they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. Wow. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. Damn. We know the world is dangerous. Okay, never mind. But if I'm one sorry. takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Who knew monks were ungrateful little brats? Maybe you should apologize for saving this Gannic ass, too. Johnny, shut up, good bro. And bad people in this world. There are only good choices and shitty ones. Must have made a good one, because why else would Karma leave all this sweet gear just ripe for the picking? I like where you're going with this. Hmm. I like what he said. There are good people. No, there are good choices and shitty ones. Not necessarily good people or bad people. Hmm. Food for thought. This elevator is out of order. Sorry. If it's out of order, why are you here? Yeah, why you talk like that? Out of order for Carrie Uridine's guests, too? He's expecting me. In that case, enjoy your evening. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that a lot. All right, so the last time I was with Carrie, we were about to kick this girl group's ass for stealing his music. But I know that turned out to be him being friends with them instead, so. I wonder what would be the next. Oh, okay. Uh, a party? Who, what's going on? I guess I can't go anywhere either, so I'll... <gasps> Get out! Are they doing a collab? Oh my god, this is so cute! I'm happy! Electrifying! They 
ask me to lay down a new track with them. The rest is rock history. Yeah. Nice. Gotta say you look great. But it wasn't that long ago you were playing depression. Alright, let me just get close to him so I can like Can I say that? Just to show you. You shouldn't trust a word that comes out of my mouth. Hey! Yo, I'm here. What's up? This is V, my uh, right hand. V's the little bird that shows up when I have a battle. Sorry. V, V, quick question. What's it like hanging with Carrie Uridine, a living legend? Um, <laughs> well, as you might imagine, it is legendary. The juiciest details I to myself. That's right, I don't kiss Thanks, and tell. But I really gotta run. Late for my next thing already. Let's go. Unless you feel like giving a few more interviews. You look great. Wow. You do too. Aww. We should be in our next door video. Oh, okay. Or be personal bodyguard. Wow. <laughs> a little busy at the moment, but I'll call you if I'm hard up. Okay, look at them. They're so hey, adorable. Come with me. I want you to meet you. Oh, okay, okay. V. Expect. His old friend. Met him walking in Memphis. Off beat. Ages ago. Hey. He's got preem stuff. Give your friends and family discount too. Of course, Mr. Yurida. Special rate for your friends. Be back later. We'll talk this. Sure thing. Come with me. I want to show you something. Congrats, Claire. Do some show. Now that that's behind us, what's Carrie Uridine's next mission? Hit on Kovacek? Very funny. But yeah, not about to let him get away with it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But the bastard's gonna regret making me sign those papers. Damn. You try to get out of that deal with the label? Ah. Let's be real. Say I break contract. Then what? Who's gonna release my new tracks? Who's gonna deal with distribution, promotion, influencers, media? Labels have got them all in their pockets. You're out with them, you're out, period. You'd be free. Seriously? Free to sing until you're blue in the face? Nobody hearing a thing? It's just another kind of cage. Wow, that's a very interesting perspective. Show you one of my favorite spots in Night City. Don't come here often, but when I do, it's important. Should I feel special? Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> wow. Golden will shut the place down for the day. Damn, Carrie. <sighs> Can't get enough of this view. Love looking at this city from above. Dude, you must have mad money to have this whole place to yourself like that for a day. Stuff is pretty expensive. Shit. Well, only place you fall asleep thinking you're special than wake up knowing you're no one. Where's this bitch ass at? She stay talking shit. Carrie, can see something's eating you. Yep, I know you now, buddy. What's Keep up? Keep thinking about our conversation at Caliente. Us cracks, you and the slaves to the corpo grind. Mm -hmm. Guess I wasn't completely honest with you. Or myself, for that matter. Talk to me. See, thought I was afraid everybody think me another corpo slave. But I was just afraid I'd be in someone's shadow again. Johnny's? Again? Lived in Johnny's for years. Part of the scenery, machinery. Helping him shine brighter. Never believed I'd make it on my own without Silverhand. That why he left Samurai. Fuck. Johnny figured you'd chickened out. Couldn't take the pressure, so you left Samurai. Yeah, I know. But he was wrong. Decided to start fighting for myself. Still keeping that up. Night City's a city of shadows everything I could to walk clear of him for years. Fuck. Time you stop being afraid. 
Don't need to be. Think it's that simple? Oh, I'm not gonna kiss him. I'm not really insecure like that. You'll be fine. Without me, too. Fuck. Yeah, I sure hope so. Should get back. Everyone downstairs is waiting. For you? I know, I know. In the knock back a few to this town tonight. And me in it. But I'm gonna stay up here a bit longer. You go ahead. Okay. See ya. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.